Hello everybody, this is Gem Queen, aka Game Show Guru 84. I'm going to talk about another game show that I've loved ever since childhood and would love to watch this show again. This one we're going to talk about, Chain Reaction on NBC with Bill Cullen, another Bob Stewart game show that I respect and love. I think the original Chain Reaction was done perfectly. You know, I mean, what I love about Chain Reaction on the first run on NBC was amazing you know they I know they've changed like the the bonus round a few times you know to get it perfect but you know even with all their changes it still was a great game you know you had four you know celebrity guests two from each team having a celebrity having a team a contestant you know playing the game and playing it mostly as a very entertaining program if you remember Chain Reaction on the USA Network with Blake Emmons and Jeff Edwards, or the Dylan Lane Nightmare on GSN, well, this one is much different. This program was broadcasted on June 4, uh, January 14, 1980, replacing a series called Mind Readers with Dick Martin, and was canceled the same day as the long-running Hollywood Squares and the second run of High Rollers, June 20th, 1980. The program was hosted by Bill Cullen and had a very great run of celebrities. The program was broadcasted at 12 o'clock noon and broadcasted in NBC Studios 2 or 4, either one, it doesn't matter. And the game is just a simple word game where you just figure out words and for each word that for every letter on the board that has already been used in the word is counted by points. The first team to score 50 points, which can be run by a full chain with you know by shutting out the contestant, wins the game $250 and a chance to play the the bonus round for a possible $10,000. The pilot was broadcasted on October 23rd, 1979. The program, well the main game was played mostly the same way but the bonus rounds where you actually got to play for almost one million one hundred thousand dollars in cash now this is considered almost the first game show to even go that far to hit a hundred thousand even in the 70s not many game shows were hitting those numbers as a jackpot on a normal basis well i think the whole entire show was very challenging and very entertaining I love this game show a lot. Many people who have done, you know, uploads on this, you know, years ago, I thank them for all of them. There's a lot to count, you know, who had the, you know, who had the videos ever since the beginning. Most of them were from uh, Game Lover 49, Game Lover 50, uh, Blank Page, um, Raro, you know, Catnap 72, Video Archivers 1000, they all had videos of this ever since, you know, the short run of the, sh of the series, and many others who have actually done the uploads, but still, I thank them all for, you know, for airing them a while ago, you know, I, I'm glad that they, that they were aired. Um, I think the game itself was very challenging from the beginning, but I think when the updated versions of these shows like the new chain reaction or the forty thousand dollar chain reaction or dylan lane's you know fuck up i really lost faith in it now i have seen the new chain reaction and the forty thousand dollar chain reaction with blake emmons and um jeff edwards i i wasn't really that impressed because i remember the final final episode of the forty thousand dollar chain reaction the last person that won the forty thousand dollars i saw no enthusiasm by anybody i mean even for january 1991 i still thought at least you you could have felt a little bit more enthusiasm i saw no enthusiasm by the contestants i saw no enthusiasm from the audience and i saw no enthusiasm from jeff himself I kind of felt bad for that and really kind of wished for the show to never air. When Blake Emmons did it, I still never liked the show. I mean, don't get me wrong, okay? When I was a kid, I didn't watch the whole series back then on USA because my family never had cable. Neither did most of my friends. 
when I first read it on the TV guide, when I thought I saw it on USA, I thought they were actually playing the NBC version. Boy, was I wrong. The reason why I don't like the later versions, it, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel the same as it was in the original broadcast on NBC. I think NBC did the show very, very well, even for its only five-month series. It still ran on a great run on NBC, even if poor ratings or bad time slots, whatever. I still wish that this series could have survived a longer run. It had a, a great potential. You had the greatest celebs on TV, you know, and it was hilarious, and it was very challenging. When seeing Blake Emmons do it, or Jeff Edwards' version, I didn't really care. I was like, where's the celebs? You know, where's the celebs? That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the celebs, you know, help the contestant. In Blake Emmons and Jeff Edwards' version, all you did was just kind of have, like, you know, have two couples play against each other and doing the same thing. And then when Jeff Edwards took over, it was more like longer chains, you know, by using, by doing with point values and only making 3,000. Or up to 3,000, I'm sorry. And and I understand that it's Canada. See, that's, see, that's another thing. I'll, I'll explain this on another video about some Canadian game shows that I really kind of wished for their downfall. But in my opinion, when Dylan Lane did his version, I really, really wish that the series would have croaked. Because, number one, I hated Dylan Lane's version. I really did. It was nothing compared to what I would consider the greatest version of Chain Reaction, even to be revived in 2006 or 2007. When I first heard about Chain Reaction on GSN at that time, I was kind of excited. You know, I thought they were going to bring back the Bill Cullen version. When I watched the first episode of Dylan Lane's version, my jaw dropped. I was... My jaw dropped in complete offensiveness. Two, everybody was so stupid, and everybody was a chicken. And when I mean chicken, when it comes down to the final chain of the game, that's where you get to gamble your, you know, your winnings. If the word was right in front of your face, everybody bet like the minimum. It was the answer was right in front of your face. How in the world could you literally just say, "Oh, I'm gonna bet a hundred dollars," and the answer was right smack dab in their face? A hundred bucks. I would have bet if I was on that show. I would have bet the maximum. You want to give like you know your opponents a, like a farther lead to where they actually try to bet you know the maximums to try to get you to try to get up to your number. Wouldn't that kind of make a lot more sense? Dylan Lane's version was a disaster. You know, nobody won ten thousand dollars or anywhere past those numbers or anywhere near those numbers. And I didn't feel any enthusiasm from the contestants. I didn't feel any enthusiasm from the uh, con uh, from the audience or from Dylan Lane. I I really really wished for the show's downfall from the first episode. The show was painful to watch to see so many of these uh, contestants who don't know how to play this game. Yeah, and I can probably understand why because they probably never saw the original version. But Bill Cullen's version of Chain Reaction is still the best. It was a great game show from the start. It should have survived a long run. It didn't, but it was a great show. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. There was no there was no flaw in uh, Bob Stewart's version. And I think that a lot of people didn't see that coming. When Blake Evans and Jeff Edwards did his, I kind of really wasn't impressed, but I still watched it, but wasn't really, you know, rooting for anybody. And Dylan Lane, I it just felt painful. It really did. It was very painful to see that, uh, you know, that Dylan Lane or, you know, whoever made this show, and it wasn't even, it wasn't even using Bob Stewart's name. 
That's the sad part. They never used his name, which I felt disappointed and very frustrated. But all I can say right now is just, if you really enjoyed the, the original 80 version of Chain Reaction, thank you. For all the uploaders who have done those videos from, you know, in the past, I thank you all for airing them, uploading them. I enjoyed those shows from, the, from as much as aired to when they shut them down. I thank you. I thank all the uploaders out there who did it. I, you know, I'm still subscribed to your channels to this day. Thank you all. I wanted to actually do another grab bag for game shows today, but I'll do some others later on. So if you enjoy this, put a like on it, give me a comment, subscribe to my channel, please. I'd like to get some more viewers soon. I'd like to get more subscribers soon. But if you really enjoy this show, uh, all my rants about game shows, and you know, I might do some video games, maybe you know, starting next month or so. So. If you really want to enjoy these videos, you know, please put a, a put a like on it, put a uh, put a uh, give me a like, give me a comment, something. I thank you all. Have a good day. Have a nice Christmas. Bye bye, everybody.